Hi, my name is Raphael Levy, and I'm an intern working with Doug. Now, this video is going to give you a little bit of an insight. It's a short overview of how to use the community website. So if you ever have any questions, you're accessing resources. It's just a good overview of how to use the community website. I'm going to share my screen. That way you're able to see everything uh, that I'm saying simultaneously so that it, you can see as I'm uh, saying it. So first things first, how to access it, you're just going to type in community.doug.org. And that'll take you to a website that looks like this. Now, I'd recommend bookmarking it. That way you don't have to type it all out every single time. But once you're signed in, it'll show you a tab or a page that looks a little bit like this. Within this page, I'm going to point out a couple of things. First here on the right, this is your profile. If you wanted to add a picture, a little bit of bio about yourself, you're able to do so. The notifications over here will notify you whenever, uh, if you're part of a network, if you're part of a circle or an event, or you uh, commented something, this will let you know whenever people have either interacted with your post or when you've been accepted into different groups. This tab over here is your direct messages. So if you ever wanted to ask someone a specific question, direct message them, you can do so here by clicking on new message. So this is the home page. In here, like it says right now, it's showing me my personal feed, which means that the more I interact with different posts, the more it's going to show me stuff that it thinks that I like. Let's say I'm part of a, a specific uh, group, and it'll show me more about that one. But if we wanted to show, to ask it to show us everything, all of the posts that have been that have been put, you'll be able to see in here, as well as if people have interacted with them. And let's say someone is asking for um, suggestion. You're also able to add in a comment over here simply by clicking on share your thoughts. Like I said, this is the everything tab. Um, this is all of the posts that have been put up on the website but we can get a lot more specific with this. The discovery tab on the left-hand side, this is a, a compilation of a little bit of the, the topic events and about page. So in here, you'll be able to see um, the different topics. So for instance, if you want to get more information about garden structures or recipes, these are different um, communities that you'll be able to see and obtain recipes or structures or um, different resources for, for instance, if you needed to do to learn a bit more about pest and disease management, you can follow that. And once you follow that, your feed in the home page will then be a little bit more personalized to that. If you ever wanted to see the members, if someone posted something that you were super intrigued by, you're able to see who posted it. And you can also find them here on the members tab. All 1200 of our members, you can find them in here. Moving on to um, the events tab. The events will let you know of any upcoming events and if you wanted to be a part of it. By clicking on it, it'll tell you a little bit of a description down here. And it'll also tell you if there's a cost associated as well as to how to RSVP. However, moving back to the a little bit more of what this uh, tutorial was meant to do is to give you an overview of this tab over here. This is the Grow a Garden Mentorship tab, which is the one you'll be using if you have any questions uh, if you wanted to get information, resources on how your seedlings are doing, crowdsourcing information, you'll be able to do all of that in here. And you can see the different circles that we have, if it's for different community gardens. Uh, some of them, as you can see, are private, but this one for the mentorship will be the one that we'll be using. Once you click on it, you'll be able to see that currently there are no posts, but I'll use a different one for an example. If you wanted to ask a question, you'll be able to hear on where it says share your mind. You'll be able to type in a question, a comment, something. And if you wanted to include a picture, a video, a link, if you're thinking about purchasing something, um, you're able to link that as well. Or if it's an article about something you read and you wanted to share it with people, you're also able to do so here and hyperlink, um, um, hyperlink it here so that people can see it. Once you have your question or your comment, you'll just be able to hit post and that'll send it to all of the people in the group, which then people will be able to start answering um, your question or your comments. But to give you a little bit more of an example of how it looks, once it, there are some comments in there, I'm just gonna click on the Doug Volunteers one, which as you can see here, you can see all of the members that are part of this circle. And you can also see uh, all of the different posts that have been posted. So for instance, let's say that someone had posted um, a question or 
was needing resources or just wanted to provide more information about something, you'll be able to see that post here as well as everyone else's interactions with it. So if someone asks any question, you can see how everyone starts to respond to it. Similar to social media, uh, you can also interact with it by liking it or commenting on it. And the comment section will be useful for when you ask a question or for when you want to answer a question. And how you do that will simply be on this post, you can see here where it says, share your thoughts. You'll be able to comment on it and add to the, um, add to the discussion of someone's post. This will be really good for whenever you're uh, having doubts about anything about your seedlings, or if the growing's growing right, or if you just simply need advice. This will be a great resource for you to send in a question and then people will start to comment into it. So I hope this was a good um, tutorial as to how to use the website. It's not too complicated, but if you have any questions, you can definitely direct message me as I showed you right on the community website.